everybody, it's Cheryl. This is my 2019 Stitch Mania video where I'd like to share with you what my plans are for Stitch Mania that starts May 1st. I have seen so many false tubers showing their plans for Stitch Mania. I've seen so many people on Instagram sharing what their plans are. There's are so many different different things going on with Stitch Mania as, as there are every year. There are lots of people doing 19 starts for 2019. There are people who are doing 31 starts for the 31 days in May. There are monogamous May stitchers who are working on one special project for the whole month. There are whip mania stitchers who are only working on their current whips for the month. Some people are starting 50 new projects. Just, just amazing how many different adaptations of Stitch Mania there are. And last year was my first year participating in Stitch Mania. And what I chose to do last year was I started 16 new projects. And I started one project every other day. And I worked on it for two days sometimes. It, and there were a couple times during the month where I could not stitch the day I was supposed to start it. So I had that extra day to to start the project, which worked out really well. That's what I'm planning to do again this year. I'm, I'm planning to do one start every other day. Now, the difference is I learned quite a bit about myself during Stitch Mania last year. Well, and the following months. I chose last year to start 16 mostly medium-sized projects. <clears> that <throat> I would not consider them small projects. And there were, there were a couple that were small, but, but the majority of them were medium-sized projects. And what I found, typically, over the last 30 years, I have been a monogamous stitcher, pretty much. Two or three whips going at one time. And that always worked well for me. And last year, when I bumped that whip count through the roof, I found that I was not comfortable with that. I, just yesterday, for Magical Stitches homework, touched a whip that I had not touched since many of last year. That whip had gotten no love since May of last year. And I don't like that. I don't like things lingering like that in my, in my whip pile. So I, I just was not comfortable with that. <clears throat> so this year, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. So where I am right this minute, I have three whips left from Stitch Mania of last year. I have Hocus Pocus, Lantern Lane, and Sleepy Hollow. Those three whips will be worked on during May on their birthdays. On the day that I started them last year, that corresponding day in May this year, they will be worked on. So that's three. Also, my other whips include Away We Ride by Blackbird Designs, Map of Hawk Run Hollow, Village of Hawk Run Hollow, which has probably 20 stitches in it that I started for our stitch along in October, but I still had map going, so I was, I'm, I'm working on map of Hawk Run Hollow, and Village is just sitting there. Hasn't been touched since October. Inspiration, which is my BAP, um, Rosewood Manor Inspiration. I have Max that I started for my birthday, and I've not touched it since. I have Oz, Quaker Oz from RETM. I have Halloween March, which was a stitch along as well, that I've not touched since that stitch along started. And I have New Year's Sampler that I started on New Year's Day. That's got a little bit of love because of, of Magical Stitches. Magical Stitches has helped with some of these. So I have 11 whips right now. And I'm heading into Mania with, more than likely, 11 whips. That doesn't count the bunnies and tulips that I'm doing from Abby Rose because that, that one's going to be done before May 1st. So, that's, that's 11 whips already that I love. I wouldn't have started them if I didn't love them. I love all 11 whips. So, if I start 16 medium projects for Mania, there's going to be several that aren't going to even be touched until this time next year because I'll have to incorporate them into Mania next year. And that's not fair. That's not fair. That's not, I'm not going to do that. Just my, you know, the way I feel. I'm just telling you the way I feel about it. Now, you know, I mean, mania is what you want to make mania. You know, 
and that's there's no right way or wrong way to do mania it's whichever way you want to do it so what I have done what I have decided to do to take some of the pressure off myself I have these and these are I have every single Just Cross Stitch Ornament issue. This isn't all of them. But I have every single issue from 1997 through 2018. This is one of my prize collections. I love this collection. And there are so many ornaments in here that I want to do. I mean, I get it. I look at it every year and I put it away. And then I work on other things. And I'm, I'm not... I, I, it's time. It's time to work on some of these ornaments. So... What I'm figuring to do is I'm going to start a little ornament every other day in May. And that way I can spit those out, hopefully, and not have them linger over the whole year, sitting there staring at me. If I want to sit and stitch something real quick, I can stitch up and stitch on one of these ornaments, get it done. And, you know, it's done. It's not something I'm going to have to work on for weeks and weeks. So I can work on those 11 projects. And I can whittle that list down. So my main goal is head into 2020 with as few whips as I can, bigger whips, so that I can get a handle on my stitching, my whip pile. Because when you are a monogamous stitcher for years and years and years and you've got 30 whips, you get nervous. It's not, it's not, it's not pleasant. <laughs> it's not. So... I just want to work on my stuff. And here's what I'm thinking. When I finish up one of those whips, I then can start something that I can give love and give attention over the over the over a couple of months along with another one of these and I can get things done without having them sit there for a year and not be touched. So that's my plan. I have chosen 16 ornaments but I've got three slots that I need to fill in with three left over from last year plus I have two other pieces that I'm adding to this so I'm not really sure yet I've got some time to think about how I want and when I want to start these so I have a couple of charts that I started that are part of a series that I want to move on with that series the first one is last year I started Little House Needlework Seasons the, the Season Of series, and I stitched Season Of Plenty last year, I think, or Season Of, yeah, I think it was Season Of Plenty. I'll fix it and put it here if it's not, but I started that, so I want to do another one of those this year, and they're not big. They are, let's see, 77 by 77, so that's that's not not a big deal. The one I want to stitch this year is Season of Rest. This is December, January, and February. I can't get that focused. Goodness. There it goes. So I want to stitch Season of Rest this year. And also, I have a drawn thread series that I have three of four done. And they're all on one piece of fabric. And last year for Mania, I did... Was it, it wasn't Mania. I don't think it was Mania last year. No, it wasn't. I, I stitched one of them, the third one last year. And I want to stitch the fourth one and get that get that whole series whip finished and, and have it done. It's Drawn Thread Spots. And I stitched, I've already stitched Spot of Spring, Spot of Summer, Spot of Autumn, and this is Spot of Winter. So I'm going to be adding this into my mania. So that's two charts that I want to do in addition to my ornaments. Now what I want like to do is I want to show you how I've set this up in, in order to, um, you know, proceed with my mania plans. I found two of these in Goodwill for 99 cents. Two of these, and the, I think they're scrapbooking, but they're expandable files, and they have a leather snap closure, and then they have little folders in here. So what I've done, I've kitted up all of my ornaments, and I have 
put them each in Ziploc bags because I'm not making project bags for 16 little ornaments that I hope to have done really quickly. So what I did was I went to the magazine and I made a working copy of the ornament. And I put in all of the flosses that I need and the fabric to stitch the ornament with. And I also took extra bobbins that I had and I took DMC off of my skeins and I, I put just a, like three arms length, arm lengths and I put them on bobbins so that I'm not having to fish through all those whips to find out where a skein of floss is that I need. So I just took part of it off and put it on here. And then whatever's left over will go back on the skein when I'm done. So this one happens to have some chronic and some rainbow galleries on there so so let me show you they're all packaged up like this so let me show you what I've chosen on each ornament I have the magazine the the year and I can go now to 1998 and I have a sticky marking the page of the ornament corresponding and on that sticky I have the number of the ornament that this is so it, in the 1998 issue is number five that's the one I'm stitching number five is this little guy isn't that adorable that is Christmas ornament 98 crossed wing now the mouse is over one. <laughs> Isn't that cute? A little popcorn. And then the rainbow um, blending filament is in the ornament. So I had ordered that from eBay. You can't get that anymore. It's it's um that's the only place you can get it. It's Rainbow Galleries. Glisten gloss. Isn't that pretty? So Everything that I need to start that ornament is in that baggie. And then all of my ornaments are in here, ready to go. So let me show you what else I've chosen. So that's the 98 issue. Now, some of the ornament issues I've stitched ornaments out of. And if I've already stitched an ornament out of that issue, I gave myself permission to pass, that, that, pass up that issue. So I tried to pick as many from as many different ornament issues as I could so that I could spread it out and then maybe next year I don't know or maybe for Flossmas this year I might do some more ornaments out of there I'm not really sure but I do want there are more that I want to stitch so from the 2004 issue I have number six which is the Blackbird Designs Christmas ornament 2014 Oh, 2004, I'm sorry. So that's the one I've got kitted up, and that's the one I'm going to be stitching from this issue. I've already stitched this one. I've stitched that already. Okay, from the 2007 issue, I have number two, this Britter Cup. It's called Poinsettia, and I love that. I love that. As much as possible, I've, I'm using the call for for these. There are some, though, that I've did my own conversion. From 2009, I have a blank sheet. But I know which one. It's 2009. Now, I remember when we lost Lisa Roswell. From Primitive Needle. I remember that day. This is plain as day. I remember how awful, awful that was. And she is on my mind a lot. You know, when I stitch and, and I happen upon her name or if I happen, you know, I mean, I think about her and 
when I saw that she had an ornament in the 2009 issue, I said, I, I just have to do that. And it's adorable. This is Penny Angel from the Primitive Needle. And Lisa is an angel now, so I, I want to do that in her honor. So that's the 2009 ornament issue, my choice. That one's going to be really cute. From 2010, I have number four, which is the Blackbird Designs. I'm, I'm doing a lot of Blackbird Design ornaments this year. This one is called Floral Gift. Isn't that pretty? I broke my nail off. It's actually, and, and oh, look what I did. Can you see what I did? Look what I did. I was slicing it, I was uh, chopping an onion, and I, I sliced right into my fingernail, all the way down the quick. That hurts. Sorry, 2011, I have number six, which is this one, I love this. It's by Little, Little by Little Design Company, Joy of the Snowflake. Isn't that pretty? I love those colors, but you know what I'm doing? I'm making it pink. I'm using pink and brown. I love that. I'm so excited to see how that turns out. From 2012, I have two. There's two in here, and I couldn't make up my mind, so I'm going to stitch them both. Acorn House Designs Mistletoe. I love that. If you watch my Christmas videos, you, um, you'll know that my brother-in-law shoots down fresh mistletoe every year and brings me a sprig. And that's what I think of when I see this, and I just love it. So I'm stitching that one from the 2012, and I'm also stitching this one. This one is the Primitive Hair, I believe in Santa. These magazines are a little tough to right here. And what I did was I took my fabric and I put some coffee grounds, some wet coffee grounds on it, and I let it sit to grubby it up like that. And I just love the look of it. It's that's all DMC. It's only four colors, I think. Four or five colors. I love that. So I'm stitching that one. Okay, from 2013, there are a couple in here too, and they're both on the same page. I'm stitching Country Cottage Needleworks Snowbirds, a Crafty Cat stitched that one, and I just think it's so pretty. I have a piece of gray, really pretty gray linen, and I just love the way that white pops on that linen. So I'm stitching that one. And then right next door, I will be stitching the Blackbird designs from this issue as well. Peace. Because that's my word of the year. Peace. Now that one's a little bigger. And some of them are going to, like that little mouse over one, that's going to take a little bit more time. But I just, I just love it. It's, it's fitting for me this year. So that's from 2012. From 2014, I am stitching Homespun Elegance Noel Birds. Isn't that pretty? Love that one. And I did my own conversion from this one. and For this one, and I made it more where the red's, you know, bright, I, I, I toned down the red and green from that one. And put an old gold in here. So I really, really like that. So many good ones. From 2015, I chose another Blackbird. No, sorry. This is Sampler's Not Forgotten. This one. Look at that. Blackbird in the Santa hat. Can you even? Isn't that pretty? 
I love that. So that's the 2015 and 2016. I check goodness, the little stitcher. I've seen several people stitch that one too. And I believe I'm going to stick with the blue on that because I just love the way that looks. That one is Blue Snowman. I love that. And then 2018, last year's issue. These guys. And I'm making the deer pink. I love it. So, that's what I have planned for Stitch Mania. I haven't decided how I'm going to choose which one gets what day. I don't know that I even will. I think what I might do is either do my Tiny Decisions wheel or I might just reach in there and grab one and stitch because I like them all so it doesn't matter what day I stitch what. So I'm excited and I'm excited to hear more about your plans for Stitch Mania and I am anxious to watch everybody's progress and what they choose and this I think will free me up to choose new starts every month and be able to work on them instead of just putting them away for 12 months and get some more finishes done and come out on the other side with several new Christmas ornaments. So thank you for hanging out with me today and I will see you next week and happy mania planning.